and welcome to Creatively Rich. I am your host, Anne Tipton, here with Joanna Lynn today, who you can find over at joannalynn.ca. Joanna, tell us a little bit about what you do. Well, I work with people and their inner relationship with money. I help them out in their marriages, with parenting, all from the angle of what lives in our family history. That's so cool. Such mm. a, I, I'm so fascinated by your work. Um, but here today, we are talking about hating winter. So <laughs> I, know, I know you are not a fan. I am not a fan. So um, tell us a little bit about what you're doing about that. Well, first off, I tried to love it. You know, go out there with the ski boots, try snowshoeing. It's just not my thing. And so I've accepted that. And um, this past spring, my, my family and I, we were in Tulum in Mexico and totally fell in love with the Mayan Riviera. And we certainly didn't go there with the intention to purchase property. But as we talked about it, it just made more and more sense. So we were thinking it over, crunching numbers, looking at schools for our son. And we took the plunge. So what does that mean to take the plunge? So we've purchased the property and now we're in the process of figuring out how to customize a really simple build. Um, they're very much used to building the North American style homes, the, the big, the bold, the gated communities. And we kind of want to stay with the custom of the beautiful Mexican culture, you know, Palapa roof and lots of greens around to really keep it naturalistic. And so we feel a part of that community, not just another home from the home we have here. So our intention is to be there as soon as the weather gets cold so likely early November and stay until May and what I love about the area is Cancun is such an easy airport to get in and out of it's international flights so I can still host my workshops I can still keep up with the way I like to work with my clients and for years and I'm talking gosh probably over a dozen years it's been my desire to have this laptop lifestyle so that I'm able to work with my clients online, you know, using Zoom, just like we're using for this interview. And they don't know if I'm, you know, cold with my heater on in Ottawa, where I am now, or heading off to swim in the Caribbean Sea after a session. I definitely like the Caribbean Sea option better. I, <laughs> that's beautiful. So, I so, you, in there. <laughs> so you took the plunge and just bought a plot of land. Yeah, that's it. And, and the plan is to build... And from there, you're, you plan on building more than one property, right? Yes, our intention is to have two, um, two units, I suppose. And we would like to live in one half the year. And then we're going to find a property manager because there are so many rentals. It is such a, a destination to have someone manage the property when we're not there. And the real hope is that that will replace my husband's income over time so that he's freed up because he doesn't have the location freedom option with what he's doing now. It's sort of the nine to five, you know, secure and stapled in, but it doesn't give a lot of room for, you know, where our heart lies and what we really want to do. So I, I know that one of the hardest things for, for parents, especially when trying to design a life like this, I mean, the, when it's coldest is when kids are in school. Yeah. So how have you reconciled that having an eight-year-old son? That's a great question. Um, I was lucky enough to have a colleague who moved down there when his children were, I think, nine or 10 months and two years of age. So they lived there for a good 15 years. And so took him out for a, a, a beautiful meal and talked about all the logistics. And he gave me the inside scoop to the best schools, uh, the benefit of, of course, learning Spanish, um, how wonderfully his kids integrated into that culture and the learning. And two out of the three schools are very much international schools because it is such an area of expats. So meeting children from Europe, from the United States, from Canada, everybody's kind of there in this beautiful melding pot and how much more children learn about cultures and choices and options. So it felt like, yeah, we can do this. This is a really viable option. And so you're, you're planning on putting him in school in Mexico part of the year and then homeschooling the rest or doing that with the Canadian school system? It really depends on the openness of the Canadian school system. Kai will be changing schools next September. And so it's kind of a wait and see how open they might be to that. 
And if not, I've, I have many friends actually who homeschool and I've been kind of bending their ear a little bit to learn the process. And there are so many online resources where we're so lucky now of, you know, what's available. No, I think that was pretty much everything we had notes on. Okay. Cool. So, so what advice do you have for somebody who's thinking about making a huge leap like this? Hmm. Wow. Well, I think it's having a really good idea of how you want to live your life. Mm. Because some of the things that we've learned from people that are already living there is get ready to wait. You know, there's maybe slower internet or t- even our experience with getting a building permit and getting this project even started yeah. has really tested a lot of the patients that, you know, I'm not a very patient person. So it's like, okay, this is a new way of learning how to just let things take their course so that it is quite different and being really prepared and ready for that. Doing as much as you can researching online. So for example, we found this great blog. Um, It's something about uh, two expats in Mexico and all about what it was like to move from Florida to uh, this, this very area. And so they're talking about how to buy a car there, uh, what to watch out for, um, currency conversion, all of these things that even medical and and school, all of these things that are important to know and as much as you can to learn that before you go. And it's interesting, the friends I have, it seems like it's really popping up. Costa Rica is a huge place that people are are moving to and, uh, you know, that learning from them, what's that like? And there are just so many places. This world is so big and beautiful. And so doing as much research and connecting with people who have done this leap um, so that you can feel really confident in your choice because it is a bit of a step-by-step or it's been a stages process for me anyways. Yeah, especially when you're building, right? It's not like you can just dive into the deep end. It's a, it's a di- dipping your toe in the water. That's situation. right. Yeah. Awesome. Well, Joanna, I think it's amazing what you're doing. I can't wait to see as the project progresses. And um, I think it, I think it's going to be an awesome move for you and your family. And I'm so excited for you. Oh, thanks. We're excited to have you down when the build is done and hang out on the beach and talk creatively rich strategy. Sounds wonderful. Thanks for being on the show today. We'll talk soon. Thanks for having me.